Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to the another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about iOS 18.7 and it is confirmed that 18.7 is going to be the next big release for the all iPhone models and it is coming this September. I will be talking about everything in detail, so let's begin this video. Now over here, this is the device that is running iOS 18.6.2. So far, the performance of 18.6.2 is quite nice, which is nice. But some people are facing issues and those people want to see 18.7. So this is why 18.7 is an important update. So 18.7 will be coming very, very soon. I'm going to discuss the release date too. So just wait and watch the video until the end. Also, I'm going to talk about some iOS 26 stuff that people were, you know, asking me. So yeah, it's going to be a really cool video. So watch until the end. Now let's begin first thing. 18.7 is pretty much confirmed and is confirmed by Mac Rumors. And I will drop the link of this article in the description if you guys want to read this article. But they claim we are expecting 18.7 to be released in the September alongside the iOS 26. Now, they also talk about a bit of a stuff in the history. So, if we see iOS 17, 17.7 um, 17 was released in the middle of September, 18 September 2023. Um, I was um, 16 of 0.7 was released in the mid of September again in 2022 and the I was 15% was also released so all pretty much updates are in the mid of September a um, few days you know uh, high and above but yeah they are in the mid of September so this is why we're also expecting 18.7 will be releasing on the 16th of September this is the expected release date for the 18.7 now, where are the 18.7 betas? Well, 18.7 betas are not coming. Um, they will not come. We might see 18.7 update direct or we might see 18.7 RC update. So for the RC update, I'm still expecting we might see 18.7 RC update, you know, this week. So while I'm shooting this video, it is 2nd of September, as you can see. And I'm still expecting this update, maybe not this week, but definitely next week. We are expecting 18.7 RC over here and the another week over here, we will be getting um, iOS 18.7 actual release, maybe on 15th of September. So I am quite excited about this update and many people are excited about this update. So no betas are coming at all and it's pretty much confirmed by Mac rumors. Now I want to discuss a few things about the um, I was 26. So I was getting question from you guys. Now on this device over here, I am running I was 26, and I was getting questions from you guys. Like when we go into settings, for example, this is just an example. And if we go into the setting, there is a navigation bar over here, as you can see on the bottom. But there is no navigation bar on the bottom of I was 26. When you open any app, it appears, then it disappears. Now people think it is a bug and might be apple need to fix this or even i was getting questioned at how we can enable this you know it's a weird change but it is not a bug it's a feature you can consider it and know why it is disappearing and why apple actually removed it is because now there are bottom you know tabs like this there's a search tab like this and they don't want to clutter the bottom also now the design is completely changed of the bottom as you can see now there are you no know, bottom tabs with the liquid glass for now in third party apps for example i go to the pocket cast third party apps it looks weird there's too much extra space i'm sure if the camera is able to show you because of this it looks weird if i go to the i don't know if i have pocket cast on my this device so i can compare it in a much better i don't have pocket cast let me get into some other app that i have on my both of the devices I hope I'm able to find any app that I use on like both of the devices, not this one. But you you got my point, right? You got my point that this there is a lot of space because the um because this bar is disappearing. Well you it cannot come back, it's not a bug. When these third party apps will update according to the liquid design, like the bottom bars will become the liquid design, hopefully, then it will stop looking weird. But for now, we have we have to wait for the you know, public release and the third party developers to update this one. So this is not a bug. This is something Apple did and it will get better according to design when there will be like uh, more apps will get updated according to the um, liquid glass design. 
and also there were some questions that people are saying why apps are laggy um no there's a thing the all the third party apps are not updated according to the iOS 26 liquid class for now all the default apps that apps are by apple are updated according to the iOS 26 and they are working perfectly fine but other apps every third party app is not updated yet this is the reason why these apps are lagging people are saying facebook is lagging snapchat is lagging some other applications are lagging they will be lagging because they are not updated to ios 26 yet once the ios 26 will come out they will get update and things will get better so this is so far the all of the update and talking about ios 26 we are not expecting any ios 26 beta 9 there were so many people coming from credible accounts they were claiming that there will be ios 26 beta 9 i don't think ios 26 beta 9 will come out i believe we might see ios 26 rc update next week and like along with the apple event that is going to take place on 9th of september and after the event like maybe the next week after the event week we are getting ios 26 public release so this is what i believe and this is what we are expecting so far so far if i conclude this video we talk about the ios 18.7 release date we also discuss some news we talk about the previous history how things were being with the ios 18.7 or dot 7 update we also talk about few ios 26 stuff that people are thinking i will talk about the bottom navigation that will keep disappearing that you cannot you know bring it back also talk about the apps getting slower so we discuss few things over here and i hope you find this video useful if you did give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit the bell icon I am seeing many people are not subscribed to the channel so guys come on subscribe to the channel support the channel even if you don't own iphone if you have any friend that own iphone try to share my videos with that i will be more than happy so yeah that's all from this small simple video and also thank you so much we crossed 5000 subscribers i'm not able to you know thank you guys but yeah thank you so much guys and yeah keep supporting keep liking keep sharing and i hope to get you guys in my next video until then take care peace out